Brian Sabota here from uh, Blue Cat Productions, and we're coming to you live from the Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery. And in one of the sneak peek vi uh, videos, all of you got to see some of the Scarpelli work. I'm here with Katia Scarpelli, straight from Florence, Italy. Great to see you, Katia. How are you? Thank you. It's good. Excellent. It's excellent. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people have been asking about this, so I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about this briefly. We'll take a look at a couple other pieces, and then we'll encourage everybody to come on down here to the Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery, okay? Yeah. Great. So this piece is our challenge. It's obviously made with known translucent stones. And how to get the effect of translucency with no translucent stones? That's something that we wanted to reach and in the last years, getting in contact with the Munich show, uh, we could reach the aim. And this is something that even in, uh, in the Commesso Fiorentino, that's the art, that's the mm -hmm. name of the art, was never done before. So my brother, that's the artist, you can see the signature, right Leonardo, Leonardo. El Scarpelli. <laughs> he made that piece and all the others. We have done in the past other pieces like uh, Tanzanite, which was great. You probably remember the mm -hmm. blue one. It was a wonderful piece. And uh, then quartz and then emeralds. So if people would like to have something on commission, I mean, a special piece, we can work you on can something make like it. that. Yeah. I'll tell you something interesting you may not know. I was here when the owner of this piece was walking through the hallway and he said, whoa, hang whoa. on. And he looked at this piece and he took out his camera and he showed me the photograph of the piece that he had. He was the one who bought this. But I will not mention his name, I've, but the owner of this piece is taking that home. I've never seen the piece in real. Really? Well, never in photo. Okay. Well, I, we did that from a sketch. No kidding. Yeah. This is going to be fascinating. If I see the two of you like please, at the same venue, please, I'm going to introduce you because this would be fantastic. Please, that's like something that the person should know. <laughs> totally. All right, let's go take a look at another piece okay. that you have here. So Katya, this is another, this is probably one of the ones I've heard most of the people just comment. They say something about this just draws them in. So beautiful piece. Tell us a little bit mm, about this. This is interesting. That's uh, a vision. I mean, my brother, Leonardo, the signature is always here. And he started from the eye. So the eye should be the real part of all the picture. But we worked together, we talked together, and at the end I gave him the idea of putting in the sunglasses the dream and in contrast with the eye which should be the real part of the human being so that's obviously it's something which is very contemporary it's a modern touch half a face and you have the human life dream and reality in one piece. I love it. I mean, that is probably why it resonates so strongly with people. Everybody yeah. stops and takes a look. And I look at it and I say, oh, it looks like a Hawaiian island, so maybe I'm living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Katja, this is the last one that we're going to talk about in this um, uh, uh, live, short live video. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to catch up with you and uh, include you in uh, uh, What's Hot in Tucson. But tell us about this, because this is a very kind of special piece here. Mm. So the idea is a traditional uh, design because uh, it comes from the classic uh, flowers that we can find in tables, in antique uh, cabinets. But Leonardo took the idea uh, from the past to create something more contemporary with Labradorite uh, on the background. Mm -hmm. So the dark part of the Labradorite and the blue part of it. So it can match us with the, with the um, flowers, with the convolvulus. This is something that I f we find it interesting because it can be um, matched with the contemporary uh, furnishings, like thanks to the black uh, frame. Mm -hmm. And but it has like uh, it reminds the, the traditional art of Commesso Fiorentino. Uh, we can try to 
they get okay done. so we're gonna be we're gonna have a special treat here we've got Leonardo himself yeah. he's gonna be holding it and moving yeah, it so for us he can you can see the blue love of the right which shines in here and from the top you can see the lighter ones and you see the, the blue and brownish colors. You can see the iridescence coming through yeah, exactly. right there and up on the top there as Leonardo moves it back and so forth. So these pieces should be shown with the light on the top so okay. that you can see. To the, get all the, 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 yeah, the, the maximum the, color. Yeah, because otherwise yeah, you, you, can, you can see exactly what it is. Look. Fantastic. Well, Hello. people, come on down to Tucson Fine Mineral Gallery. You can see we've got all, I don't, how many, how many do we have? How many pieces? 26. 26 but pieces. Some assault. Of course, of course. <laughs> That's what I would expect. All right. Gotcha. Leonardo, thank you so much. Ciao. 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 Come on. Yeah, we all got to do it. It's the Scarpelli dance. <laughs> <laughs>